10 largest deep sea ports in Africa. With over 90% of Africa's imports and exports taking place by sea, there is a growing demand for maritime innovation and development. Africa makes up around 6% of the total land area on the planet. Africa has over 100 port facilities, with 38 of its 54 states being coastal or insular in nature, and a few of them handling 6% of global waterborne cargo traffic and around 3% of global container traffic. With over 90% of Africa's imports and exports taking place by sea, this video uncovers the 10 harbors or ports that are strategically important across the continent. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Without much waste of time, in no particular order, here are the 10 largest deep sea ports in Africa. Number 1. Port of Durban, South Africa The port of Durban, as it is commonly known, is Africa's busiest general cargo port. Its strategic location along international shipping routes has made the port more relevant, becoming South Africa's main cargo and container port. It is located a block from Durban Central Business Center and is important to South Africa's economy. In comparison to other ports in South Africa, it handles the majority of the seagoing traffic as Africa's largest container port. This port receives approximately 4,500 vessels per year and 83,000 containers per month, and it handles trade worth more than $45 billion. In 2013-2014, it handled roughly 44.8 million tons of cargo, according to the Port Management Association of Eastern and Southern Africa. The port occupies the natural expanse of Durban Bay, an area of 1,850 hectares, with the water area being 892 hectares in extent at high tide and 679 hectares at low. The entrance channel is 122 meters wide and is maintained at a dressed 12.8 meters drought depth of water. Number 2. Port Mombasa, Kenya Port Mombasa often referred to as the city of merchants, dates back to the times of the Portuguese exploration. It has been and remains a busy trading post for the region, which could be attributed to its strategic location between South Africa and the Gulf of Aden. The port of Mombasa is the key entry and exit point for cargo belonging to a vast hinterland that include Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, the DRC. Tanzania, South Sudan, Somalia, and Ethiopia. The port of Mombasa dates back to the 18th century, when the Portuguese and Arabs came to the East African Indian Ocean shore for spice and slave trade. It is a key gateway to East and Central Africa. It provides a direct link to about 80 ports worldwide, and a railway line runs there from Uganda and Tanzania. With 18,020 foot equivalent units TEUs, and a container capacity of 250,000 TEUs per year, Mombasa port now handles about double this volume. The TEU is an inexact unit of cargo capacity used to describe the capacity of container ships and container terminals. It is based on the volume of a 20 foot long or 6.1 meter intermodal container. Number 3. Port of Djibouti Djibouti's ports are critical to its military and economic geostrategic importance. They act as crossroads for Ethiopian trade and a transshipment hub. This involves the offloading of container and bulk cargo from larger ships, which is then redistributed to ports in East Africa and Arabia. It serves as a safe regional hub for products transshipment and relay. Through the state-owned China Merchants Group, China is also directly involved in the port of Djibouti. Their interest in Djibouti extends beyond the advantages of participating in East African regional trade. Rather, Djibouti's position as the sole reliable port along the key shipping lanes connecting Europe and the Gulf, as well as Asia and Africa's eastern coast, is critical. Number 4. Port of Cape Town, South Africa after Durban, 
Cape Town is South Africa's second busiest port. It is the facility that handles the most fresh fruits and vegetables. The port of Cape Town is strategically and economically important for South Africa because it is located on a globally busy commerce route. In addition, the port functions as a transshipment point. Maintenance and repair facilities are available at the port of Cape Town. The port of Cape Town served over 3,000 ships in 2009, transporting a total of 13 million tons of cargo. Around 10 million tons of cargo were transported in 774,000 TEUs. The container terminal at the port of Cape Town is made up of water baths. In 2016, the container terminal in Cape Town handled 926,000 TEUs. Number 5. Port of Lagos, Nigeria Lagos generates a major amount of Nigeria's GDP as the country's economic hub. The Lagos Port Complex, popularly known as the Port of Lagos, is located in the Apapa region of Lagos, Nigeria. The Port of Apapa is the port for the city of Lagos in Nigeria. The port of Apapa Container Terminal is built on 44 hectares and the port can handle up to 22,000 TEUs of containerized cargo. Port of Apapa Container Terminal has six berths and also contains 6.5 thousand square kilometers covered storage. The container yard can handle 19.5 thousand TEUs and it contains 298 refer plugs. Berthing, cargo handling and stacking areas, and also storage facilities make up the operational area. The Nigerian Port Authority administers this prominent port, which is divided into three main sections. Lagos Port, which is located in the main channel near to Lagos Island, Apapa Port, which houses the container terminal, and Tin Can Port, which are both located in Badagri Creek. Number 6. Port Abidjan, Ivory Coast Abidjan's port is located on a lagoon and is connected on the sea by a 2.8 km long waterway. The French Bolloré African Logistics and APM terminals jointly operate the Abidjan Container Terminal. With a container storage capacity of 20,000 TEUs and an annual volume of 610,000 TEUs, Abidjan the economic center of the Ivory Coast has the largest port in the West African sub-region and the second largest in Africa. The container transshipment port was established in 1951 and the Vridi Canal, which is 15 meters deep, allowing boats with enormous jobs to dock in the deep water port, gives Abidjan an advantage as it has grown in importance, receiving the majority of the country's industrial activity. Number 7. Swiss Canal, Egypt The Swiss Canal is an artificial sea-level waterway in Egypt, connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea through the Isthmus of Swiss and dividing Africa and Asia. The canal is a route of trade between Europe and Asia. It is 101 miles or 163 kilometers long. It has allowed ships to travel between Europe and South Asia without passing through Africa since its inauguration in 1869, greatly lowering the sea voyage distance between Europe and India. The Swiss Canal Axis Development Project is currently in the planning stages, with the goal of expanding and developing the canal. Canal revenue in 2014 was around $5.45 billion, up 6.8% from the previous year. The total tonnage in 2014 increased to 962.7 million tons. Number 8. Tangier Med Port, Morocco Tangier Med is a Moroccan industrial port complex located 45 kilometers northeast of Tangier and opposite of Tarifa, Spain on the Straits of Gibraltar. With handling capacities of 9 million containers, 7 million passengers, 700,000 trucks, and the export of 1 million vehicles. The Tangier Med Port, which is separate from the Port of Tangier, which is still used for ferries, accommodates commercial ships and vessels and can handle up to 3.5 million containers. 
This was prompted by the growth of the market and the import-export industry, which necessitated the need to simplify traffic flow. It only opened in 2007, but it is already one of the most capacious ports in the Mediterranean and Africa. Number 9. Port of Walvis Bay, Namibia Walvis Bay, halfway down Namibia's coast, is an important port for international trade. It offers direct access to important transportation routes. The port of Walvis Bay is Namibia's busiest commercial port, with over 3,000 ships passing through each year. The port is capable of handling 5 million tons of cargo. Walvis Bay's port is well equipped with world-class infrastructure and dependable machinery. Cargos are handled in a safe and trustworthy manner. Containers, transshipments, and bulk commodities are handled at the port of Walvis Bay. Walvis Bay's operator, Namport, built a new container facility. The handling capacity was doubled from 350,000 TEUs to 750,000 TEUs. Number 10. Port of Dar es Salaam, Tanzania the port of Dar es Salaam is the principal port serving Tanzania. The port is one of the three ocean ports in the country and handles over 90% of the country's cargo traffic. The port of Dar es Salaam is Tanzania's most important. It has a dry cargo capacity of 4 million deadweight tonnage DWT, and a bulk liquid cargo capacity of 6 million DWT. The port processes 95% of Tanzania's international trade. Malawi, Zambia, the DRC, Burundi, Rwanda and Uganda are all served by the port. Dar es Salaam is Tanzania's largest city, with industries and the country's capital. Most of the country's agricultural and mineral exports are shipped through the port of Dar es Salaam, stating its importance. Thanks for watching, and that concludes our coverage of the 10 largest deep sea ports in Africa. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and also share it with your friends.